there. I am going to do a reading for October. Thank you for coming by. This is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. I had been feeling about doing something for October. We'll go around the world a little bit, I think. I haven't been feeling like just what my visions show me. Pull some cards on it. I also brought these art. These are my um, archetype um, cards. Very cool. And I'm going to it's like little pocket archetypes. They're teeny weeny. And then this is my Crow Tarot, which this is my new favorite thing. A lot of you have already seen that. This is the other ones that I've been using. But uh, October, I, in the past, in the past, I've seen a valley where I go and I look over this valley. I am a being of some kind. I feel like a man. I'm walking into this valley. But what I see was the light of all of our uh, fractions of light, um, us as humans changing our vibration or staying in a positive place of faith and that raising our vibration and feeling that belief that all is well um, attaches or it attracts the God light within all of us and it brings it down into our consciousness in a real way. And I saw that these beautiful lights flickering. And I mentioned it's kind of like when you, there's paper lanterns you light um, and you can let them off into the sky. I saw like a ton of them. And over the time, it's shifted a little bit. I'm still in that valley and I see the light, but it's, um, it's weird. Like things are burrowed under the light. Like there's light on top, but I feel like there's a ca cavity of, a whole layer of cavity and the light is up here and then there's some little dark areas over here and little dark areas trying to smother the light a little bit so i think the fear uh creates that environment where it's not the light can't shine and flicker you know our faith gets tested and our beliefs um get a little bit bashed around to think that it it's going to be fine all is well because we believe in the human spirit and we believe most everybody is good and we want to do the right things. Um, people have people, politicians, whoever's in power, regardless, tend to manipulate, tend to not all tend to manipulate for their higher, higher needs or their political needs or money or greed, whatever that is power. And, so I think that's what's going on. So as I'm looking into this valley, um, well, for those of you who aren't here, I look into my visions and I go into my mind's eye and I travel uh, wherever. Politics, sometimes people that have passed on to see what they're seeing and they're learning lessons and a variety of things. Sometimes it's food. Sometimes it's just <laughs> pictures. Anyway, um, I will pull cards probably, but I wanted to see what this is about as I look into this valley you know it's a funny thing the light is flickering and I see this underground layer but I see a healing oh this is so weird I don't know if you guys are going to be grossed out by this so someone I know in the family got run over their leg got run over and it was so crushed the skin. They're fine now, but their leg got crushed. The skin um, was so pressed into their tissue that weight killed the skin up on top and it became necrotic tissue. So it kind of got black anyway. So what they call it is like, you know, it's kind of gross tunneling where the wound has a, a vacuous space underneath it. And this skin has to be removed and it can heal and breathe and that can scab over and eventually seal up and they can do a skin graft or whatever. That's what I saw. Not necessarily that grossness, but I felt like there was a burrowing underneath all this light where this necrotic tissue, this dead tissue, this dead darkness needs to be removed and the healing can take place which is fascinating because I saw green, which is a symbol of healing, this symbol of uh, the heart chakra, the color of the heart chakra. And whenever I see green, because I do see things in color sometimes, and I, it gives me an idea where they're at energetically. And I see green like moving in along the edges. Under It's, it's like wherever that blackness isn't, it's starting to like 
merge clean, uh, starting to uh, grow, you know, the cells are reproducing and healing. So that's what I'm seeing. So it's that darkness or the necrotic tissue, whatever you want to call it, is being removed. Underneath is raw and yucky and um, open. And so I think we're in this point where it's still, uh, we're unsure of how we're going to heal, how we're going to, this giant open vacuous hole of, you know, wound, basically, it's a giant wound. And it's funny where my mind goes. <laughs> and I feel like that's going to be lifted. This wound has to slowly, slowly, slowly build those cells to heal. This is in October. This is just a vision that I have. This is, I think, years in the making. I see 2026 is the number that came into my mind. Where it's, it's going to be a new type of tissue or a new type of growth underneath that will be sealed and healthy and good and, you know, and color of skin and not where it is right now, which is raw and fleshy and yucky. So that deadness will be gone. It's going to be removed. It's hard work, though, and it's not fun and it hurts. That's where we're at right now. But the tissue is dead, so that means it's going away anyway. It's going to fall away. That's a good sign. It's not anything that has to be, like, cut away. It's it's kind of already dying, so it will just fall away. Very interesting. Anyway. <coughs> King of Swords. Saturn. Hard work. And, you know, it just takes commitment, responsibility, and that's where we're at in uh, practical ways and emotional ways. Mm. All right, so in the States, I'll start there. Um, I see the hurricane, Helene. I do see, I read or I saw there is another hurricane out in the middle of the ocean, which shouldn't affect us. Do you see another one erupting in central, east of Central America, down there, going up the Caribbean? But I feel like it's going to peter out over that, over like the Dominican in that area. But I do see another one coming. But I do feel like it's going to peter out. So I don't feel like there's going to be another one. Queen of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. I And this is kind of what I see this circle. That hurricane circle is orange. That's the picture I'm getting. But as of right now, it's going to peter out the weather. So... Hurricane Helene and the massive death toll and the massive destruction that it left. I see a giant scar. You know, the roads broken open, these whole towns destroyed, blown apart, rivers cutting through it. But as these rivers have destroyed, it's also a natural renewal. Um, many people have lost their lives, but there's a renewal. I was talking to a fam another family member whose life is changing dramatically. And what we all know is that life, the world never stops changing. That includes the weather, that includes um, relationships. I'm not minimizing the tragedy. But I mean, I've had my own frustrations in life when things... I don't want people to leave my life. I don't want things to happen. Bad things, accidents, but they do. Um, but the sun... I see the sun overtaking this area and things happen quickly. Some healing happening quickly. I also see this horse, even though this Knight of Wands, he's leaping over these roads, this river to get to the other roads. All these roads that are broken. All The FEMA will help. It'll get there. Things will... Actually, people will find that they they lost their livelihoods and their homes and things. But over time, I feel like this scar will heal in some places even better than it was before. Like I said, I'm not minimizing the death and destruction and how horrible it was, but I do feel like it will come back and there will be a light on it. And I feel like a sealing, a sealing of this 
scar from this water um, and these winds and destruction. And the scar will remain, but it'll heal. And yeah, hmm. let me look. Weather. I'm in the weather head in my mind. <laughs> You're up. Um, and before I saw lapping on France and and Denmark up that way. Um, and I did see flooding this this year, and I thought it was down in Italy, but or Greece or something. But I read somewhere it was somewhere down that way, but it wasn't exactly where um okay when i did a video on weather i saw flooding in europe and it was in southern europe somewhere and i said maybe italy or greece but i think it went somewhere hungary or somewhere like that so i was in the ballpark um but i think it's okay now i don't see a lot of flooding anymore there right now in October I don't feel like it's uh, and it'll be okay um, politics in Europe there is the far right has got some little root uh, little things tentacles in things I do feel like they're gonna make more headway maybe not in October maybe not I should just focus on October um, I have a sense of fear in some people there. I also feel emotional, like not quite riots there, but I feel the, the sense of emotion, fear. Um, and all, you know, like Germany, um, France. Uh, now I know Italy has a far right um, president, but she's actually doing all right she's not as uh, crazy as people expected her to be I feel down in Turkey and Hungary in that way something's gonna happen the flooding so much but I see like a line like a it has to do with political something or I see apartment buildings no idea what that means okay October Russia that tower um, there will be an offer between I don't know if it's diplomats diplomacy trying to work out Ukraine Russia thing um, but I know I've seen in the past where Zelensky will say okay if we can have this part and this part and this part let's call it good let's move on Russia can have the part, you know what I mean, they can come up with an agreement. I don't see Putin wanting to do that right now, um, but I do think Zelensky's talking about it, and they're having discussions about how they could end this. And there is an offer somewhere right now. They're having discussions in the background, how that's gonna, what that's going to look like. comes to politics, same thing here. I do feel there's, I feel some white nationalists kind of rising up somewhere. There's some sort of thing somewhere in uh, East Coast, kind of like where the hurricane was, like Carolina's West Virginia, that area, or South Georgia, somewhere in there. Mm. I feel like there's a buildup. Maybe it has to do with the election. I feel like there's a buildup of these like um, militia type guys who are getting ready to plan. I do feel like there's planning and I feel like they're white nationalist type groups and they're smaller people that are all planning. I don't want to make it sound like, oh my God, doom and gloom, but it almost feels like they're just, they're talking to each other in the background, planning things, almost like we don't know what's going to happen. So let's be ready for anything. They are not, I don't feel like, they have a hard and fast program that they're following, but it's more like, it's kind of like that feeling when you want to talk to people that know, love, you know, you're in the same mind frame. You just want to like complain and stuff. And that's the feeling, you know, they're just groups of similar like-minded people that are ready to go and do whatever. 
I don't know why I'm saying this. It makes no sense. Like a meteor, like a big giant ball hitting ocean, like big rock. And I know nothing's in our orbit or anything like that, but like a big cinder, giant round thing falling into the ocean. I have no idea what that is. And it feels like it's a natural phenomenon. It's not like a satellite or anything. Jimmy Carter's going to continue till he can vote. Canada is going through a big shift. Uh, Justin Trudeau doesn't have the support like he used to have. And I've said this in the past. I think he's nearing his end of his political life. Um, I think he's ready to move on. I think he's already making plans. He may not tell them everybody, but and he wants to maintain the programs that he's already set up. And he has a lot of friends in high places that he's committed to. So that's why he's sticking around, because he has to follow through on some of these stuff. Um, but I think he's ready to move on. Um, Pierre Polyev is gaining some traction um, in the conservative party. He seems pretty normal. But it's like Europe where the conservative or the right wing people are really gaining power because um, people are frustrated with immigration and migrants and, you know, loss of culture, you know, whatever that looks like for different countries. Change again. Change is inevitable. Um, Prince Harry. Always oh, lovely to see that uh, Princess Catherine is back. Public duties. Hanged man. Yeah, when I saw her picture, she looked good. She was hugging somebody, but it's, I feel like she's going very gently. And when I saw that group picture, I just, I felt, I didn't see the light in her eyes like I used to see it. Um, even though she was smiling, there was some concern in the background, and I don't know what that looks like. But the hanged man is standing still, looking at things from a different perspective, um, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan um, he's falling he's coming back into his own he's coming back into he still loves his wife and he wants to make it work and he sees her as um, strong and powerful and we just don't understand her and they you know have their gripe sessions and they blame a lot of people but he did go back to that wellness um, anniversary or is it coming up? No, he did do that already. And he was so joyful. It was so nice to see. Um, I think I see them taking their kids for Halloween trick-or-treating. Uh, and she's actually something by the third month of October. I think something's going to happen with her in a way for her business that America, Riviera Orchard, or her something that she's planning if it's that tv show she was going to do something's going to happen in third week of october um, i gotta pull this this is talking to me the river yeah things might be flowing these cards and i see the reflection here um it's going to start flowing but in this picture i see it's confusing it's like some of it's very visible and some of it is going to overflow the banks or it's going to not go where you want to if you know anything about water it doesn't always go where you want it to go it doesn't stay in its boundaries so that's the feeling I'm getting she's going to be um, surprising some people what are you going to do Megan in October yeah I see, I see her doing stuff on computers and organizing things and planning and she's very really really determined I feel this big determination um, and again she thinks Harry's weak so she pushes him around and he kind of lets her he's an enabler but at the same time they do have a bond kind of uses them but he uses her in a way too so um, October. <sighs> I heard 4th of July and an independence. What is that about? October. October. Independence.
Independence Day. Does that have to do with Harry? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he's going to find his Independence Day. The lover. Hmm. Hmm. Or maybe he's found somebody else. I never thought that, but maybe. I don't think that. Politics are going fine. We all know about that. I've been doing that a lot. Um, I feel like um, weather, politics, spirituality. I think I talked about that with the recovery, with our strange valley, with the tissue and we're healing. And actually it's the last big push somewhere around, I don't know exactly, I have to look it up. Pluto will be uh, moving directly into Aquarius in November and not far after the election. This is our last big push with the uh, Pluto in Capricorn. So that dead tissue is leaving us. And I think um, Donald Trump will be leaving us. He'll be leaving the country. Um, he's trying to finagle it so he can do it before the election, somehow planning it so he can sneak out. I didn't think he would do that, but I feel like that might be happening. Vance will continue to do it. He's doing Harris and Walls. Are they going to get more pointed in their... No, dang it. They're not doing any more interviews. They need to do more interviews. They need to more get more information. People are going to vote for them just so they're not voting for Trump. M many people are versus Trump, but they're not doing enough to get the word out well enough. But, um, and then just quickly, I don't want to go over into the Gaza and Lebanon and see Israel. Bibi Netanyahu, what are you? Oh, I'm mad. I feel very mad. Um, I don't know if Lebanon to the west coast of Lebanon, something over there in that tippy southern part, but to the left. They're going to do something over there. It's almost like they want to break off the corner if they blow it up. Iran. They can't get near Tel Aviv. It's somewhere on the edges, somewhere like a facility or something. They're planning on blowing up something. Iran is not nuclear or anything, but some kind of. And more sadness in the Gaza Strip. I feel a sluggishness. I feel a deadening. I feel like down there in Gaza Strip and the whole thing with between Israel and uh, Palestinians and Hamas down there, I don't feel like things are moving much at all because their energy's up in Lebanon and stuff. I feel like they will move more troops into Lebanon. Yeah, there's something about Israel like here and then up here on the top left. There's something that Iran wants to hit. And it's some like warehousey thing or some sort of power plant or some sort of meaningful like depot thing. Mm, man. Oh my gosh, I've gotten the Four of Cups so many times today. Um, and they won't be satisfied. And it's very secretive. And... Hmm. Actually, they feel like it's justified. The Two of Pentacles, like, they're deciding, and it's justified. Uh, and they want the whole world to see. They want the whole world to see. And it's going to be really, because I've got the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, Justice, and the High Priestess. And they want the whole world to be, see what 
Israel's doing. So they're, it's just a lot. They're the world. Yeah, here we are, the world. Yeah. They want to. You just feel like the red, little redheaded stepchild of the Middle East. I know that's not the case, but that's the feeling I am when I'm in their energy. I ran the giant country of Iran. Like, look at us. We're stronger. You guys don't treat us like that. That's the feeling I got. Want to be more powerful. I don't think they'd be able to. Will that stop? They're hesitant right now. They're making plans to be more specifically targeted at this place, wherever this place is. And I see Israel going into Lebanon further. Hmm. Middle East. That's one thing that doesn't seem to change. Just the players. Uh... Queen of Cups. Yeah, they're going to rest at the end. I think after October, I think things will slow, slow down. But right now it's heightened sensitivities and Lebanon. Yeah. Let us thank you guys again for I kind of wandering through October. Any celebrity, anything? I know we lost a bunch of people. We lost Maggie Smith. John Amos, Chris Christopherson, and one other person who I thought. Tell me what I need to know about October. Final message about October. Let's do this. Page of Pentacles, Emperor, Knight of Wands, things moving fast, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. A lot of uh, discussions about... Um, making things real instead of just talk what are you doing that's not that that you can make real instead of just saying oh this is all pretty and this is all nice but belief and faith that's i'm still saying that but still there's something that needs to happen or that will be making headway there's some sort of real grounding some sort of growth in an institution type thing where leadership is going to really move forward and I think people are going to really enjoy this I have a sense that whatever this leader is whoever this is going to take charge I don't know if it's it's somebody with a really strong voice that is going to start this ball rolling of um, building a new future so politics maybe Tim Walls uh Somebody bigger. Oh, all I can think of is the Pope. I can't think of somebody who would have a voice that would be bigger. That would be, um, that would, there's some really positive um, situation where somebody's going to take a leadership role that people will look to and go, yes, do that. That's great. Let's do that. And what else do we need to know about the star? Having faith. There we go. I've said that. Let's heal that dark tissue that we need to get rid of and move on the ten of swords when we're having faith sometimes we're bombarded by the negative thinking and the beliefs that no no we can't so the star and then the ten of swords this is just anxiety it's thoughts so we're going to be flopping back and forth uh, knight of pentacles moving slower because of that so stay in the faith stay in the positive the devil uh, negativity and the king of wands some fire sign is going to confuse us but then the king of pentacles which is kind of like the emperor in the end the leadership so somebody is uh like the leadership thing having faith but then they'll be bombarded it's very much like every day here you've got people on the media on tv or online or internet or newspapers whatever it is or opinion people um yelling all these things so for you, I would suggest having the courage, this is the king of wands, having the courage to be inspired by truth and only truth in the belief that all is well. King of pentacles is making it real and this person is not backing down. King of pentacles is do not back down. 
King of Wands starts this stuff, but King of Pentacles are very stable. So whoever this leader is or whoever, maybe it is somebody in your life who you want to emulate or who you want to um, manifest inside of you, courage, strength kind of thing. Um, don't let them confuse you because it's an easy trap to fall into and have faith that all is well um, and stay in that place. Sure, there may be bad things happening in the world, crime and different things in your life and relationships. Um, living in that place of um, light and love in a real tangible way, like paying it forward if you want to or smiling at somebody that you don't know or just living in a state of um, a charged belief system of goodness. That's where I'm suggesting you stay because that, that is the light that will drown out the darkness. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Hopefully your October is wonderful um, or whatever it is, you're going to manage it and navigate and we're all going to be okay. We're going to get through this in this up and down time. And until next time, take care.